You are watching Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I am your host, Phil Wesley, the Mile High Mouth. So let's get right into the... I'm not going to do that. This is a Newsity episode um, of Area DMG, which means I'm covering news. You know, this just this will be kind of a regular thing whenever there's news to talk about. And there is a lot to talk about today. In fact, whew, just a ton of stuff. Oh, the footage for today's newsity is some random stuff I recorded from Graceful Explosion Machine, which is kind of fitting because there was an explosion of news. Mmm, sort of. Anyways, the big news is that Nintendo will have an ARMS-focused Nintendo Direct on May 17th, 2017, which, due to delays, is probably when you're hearing this. But don't worry, we will be covering what's discussed in the event after the event, of course. Um, it's an ARMS-focused Nintendo Direct. So, um, I heard that we're getting a new character with, like, rose stems for ARMS or something like that. I'm also hoping for a demo. Seriously, I, I will not purchase ARMS without trying it first. So, Nintendo still has to sell me on this. They don't have to sell me on Splatoon, though. There will also be a new Splatoon trailer, which, um, hmm... I suspect we'll show off a little bit of the single player mode and probably announce another test fire. I hope it's single player focused because I actually really dig the story in Splatoon. I'm looking forward to finding out what Marie learns about the other missing squid sister. You know, uh, Callie McGarbage waifu. Anywho, um, part of me hopes there's a real quick mention of Fire Emblem Echoes, which is releasing this Friday, which of course we'll be doing an unboxing for and all that jazz. But yeah, let's get into the other stuff. There were a lot of interesting third-party announcements. Um, State of Mind by Daedalic was announced for the Switch. It's kind of a uh, adventure game. Yoku's Island Express was announced by Team 17. Looks kind of pinball-ish. The Kickstarter for Rap Rabbit, which is by the people who did Parappa the Rapper and uh, Guitar Man, um, was re-rolled just a bit to prioritize a Switch port. So uh, yeah, they, re they realized that their goal of $5 million for a Switch port, people were complaining enough and they decided to change that up a bit, which they should. Seriously, a Nintendo Switch port should be your priority over, say, you know, lesser consoles like the Xbox One, you know, and PS4. Pfft. Yeah, whatever. And, uh, seriously, PC, <sighs> those people should get the last of everything. <clears throat> Of course. Oh, um, other stuff announced. One Piece Unlimited World Red was announced. I love that game on the 3DS, so the Switch port, which has all the DLC on it. Interesting. And I'm not even caught up on One Piece. I just watched, like, the first eight to ten episodes of that. They just kind of blurred together. It was like, this is a good show, but there's, like, 400 episodes in this show, so I don't know if I should really watch it. <sighs> I'm not even touching the manga on that one. I mean, seriously. I just got caught, finished getting caught up on, like, Berserk on the manga. And I'm like, I'm so happy that they're finally addressing an issue. But yeah, let's not get into that. That's something else. Anywho, that there was also um, another game called Tiny Metal, which is an Advanced Wars-style game. And that was announced. It's a strategy game come for the Switch. It could be sweet. Um, Konami announced they're going to release a small patch for Super Bomberman R that's out today that will fix minor things and prepare the game for the big 1.4 patch. Later on, that will add new characters. Mm. It's kind of nice to see Konami patching things up. If only they could patch up their relationship with Hideo Kojima or with me and release a fire, I'm sorry, Survival Kids, you know, the Game Boy Color one on the 3DS Virtual Console. Come on, that and Metal Gear Ghost Babble are your best 3D, sorry, Game Boy Color games. Seriously, just release them already. You know, I will buy them. And that would be great. <clears throat> Anywho, speaking of um, companies trying to fix things or patch things up, Natsume also announced Harvest Moon Light of Hope. Remember that Harvest Moon now is not the same as Story of Seasons. Of course, Story of Seasons is set for... Probably 2018, 
And the Nintendo Switch will have Stardew Valley, Cube Life Island Survival, which is just Minecraft with prettier water, and Terraria before the end of the year. So, uh, this is kind of a crowded market. Well, honestly, Skytree Village for the 3DS wasn't a terrible game. Natsume learned a lot from Lost Valley, and the new Minecraft style that they've been pushing up for Harvest Moon was starting to show more polish. Although, there's a bit in the, uh, in the um, press release where they go, this is a, where they're looking to, quote, create a SNES-style nostalgic game, end quote. And I'm like, oh no, are they going to ditch the 3D style for more of a Stardew Valley look? Which, uh, I don't know. We don't know what this game looks like yet, but it will be playable at E3, so, oh yeah, yeah, I'm interested to see what they will pull off. Hmm, Yeah. Oh, uh, the Sky of Five Complete has a demo that's available right now, speaking of demos, on the Nintendo Switch eShop. If you like that series, your progress will port over to the final game, so you can download without regret and check it out. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Red Out got delayed. Um, I think it's now July. Mm. And, um, yeah. The kind of biggest news and also the worst news of the day, uh, Sega. Let's just let's just pour one out for Sega right now. Just kind of like we we knew you, we loved you, and now you're dead to us. Just pour one out because after years, years of resisting Deviant Art, 4chan, and Fur Affinity. Uh, Sega just gave up. That's it. Pack it up. They're done. I mean, after years of designing random, terrible Sonic characters that we didn't need. Cream, Cheese, uh, Rogue the Bat, Knuckles the Echidna, whatever that is. You know, the, the Echidna, Echidna, the whatever, Shadow the Hedgehog, Silver the Hedgehog. Amy Rose, uh, Tails. I mean, uh, Tails was kind of the beginning of the end. We all knew this. Mm. But seriously. Uh, oh, and uh, what happened essentially was they, they just finally gave up. After they reached the pinnacle of perfection that is Sticks. They decided... Fine, whatever, people. Just design your own terrible characters. Do it. And so the new Sonic Forces trailer came out, and it finally revealed what the third character in the game will be. It will be a custom character avatar. You can pick the clothes, colors, shoes, gloves, helmets, and more on your custom avatar. There are new weapons that can be obtained or used in the game, and each of the avatar animal species, I meant species, has a special ability. I'm just going to read you this list. You, you can be a bear that blows away their enemies with a homing attack. A bird that flies high with double jump abilities. A cat that keeps one ring after being hit. One ring to rule them all. A dog that restarts with five rings after the player dies. A hedgehog which collects rings when getting damaged. A rabbit that has a longer invincible time after receiving damage. And a wolf. A wolf that automatically draws in rings near them. There are seven in all. It's not okay. But it... But I hope that the characters can be shared. To be honest, well, I kind of want to like race other custom Sonic characters online and make character based based characters based on things, and then like cloud save those or share them via QR code or some other type of code. I mean, you know for a fact that people are just gonna be like. I'm going to make something with memes, or I'm going to make myself my furry Markiplier. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, and uh, admit it. Every Sabrina Two Kinds or Zoophobia fan is going to be really pleased with this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, to be honest, I look at this and I'm like, oh, 
I can make characters from that are kind of like characters from Undertale, or just make characters that are flat out from Freedom Planet. Like, come on. Uh, the problem, though, is that, well, this sounds kind of like both a good idea and a terrible idea, but it's attached to a game that is questionable in quality. I mean, do we even know this game is going to be any good? We don't. And, um, when was the last time you played a good Sonic game that wasn't 2D? I mean, Sonic Mania is the one that I pre-ordered, not Sonic Forces. And for good reason. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe it won't be awful. Okay? We'll find out. But yeah, um, if for some bizarre reason you want to find out too, and you don't own a Switch, because this is coming to the Switch, Toys R Us is doing a restock this Friday. They open at 10 a.m., so if you don't own a Switch yet, and you live in the United States, mmm, get to it, you know? Mmm. But, uh, yeah, whew, that is the news. We'll have more information after the Nintendo Direct, which I hope will be kind of meaty, or at least be armed to the teeth with interesting factoids. I, I just really want a demo. You don't even have to do the Direct. Just be like, hey, guys, here's a new character. Cool. Demo available now and i'll be like q this was a success yeah um let me know in the comments below what you think of news type stuff what should we do to switch up our format a little bit you know um let me know in the comments below hit that thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and the share button if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell so that you are notified whenever we have a brand new video you know all that rigmarole and junk but yeah and until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.